Hey guys and welcome in to my review of the PSP Go. Let's look at the hardware here. Um, you've got the back of it, it says PSP. Uh, my face, hello there. Um, Sony, um, of course it's got your buttons on top uh, which include your R and L, left and right. Uh, let's turn it around so it's actually right. Uh, and also you've got a uh, display button and you press that to change the brightness. Um, also you hold it down to turn off the screen. You've got your volume up and down rockers here. Uh, you've also got your volume so you press that to do different volumes and different sound settings in when you're playing music. And you push it down to mute. Um, hold it down to mute. Uh, so on the back it's got these kind of rubber feet and I've put it on the table here. I'm moving the whole, you can see that or not. The whole table is moving, that's how solid that is. Um, they are very, very good actually, surprisingly good. Um, so that is, that's the main PSP. Uh, on, the, on the top here you've got your Bluetooth um, light, to tell you've got Bluetooth on or not. As so you can zoom in on that, uh, and focus, focus. I'm not gonna, there you go. Uh, you also got your speaker uh, here, and you've got your Wi Fi uh, green light here. And you've got your um, speaker there. You've got your home button. Let's open this guy up. That's it. That's it. It's that easy, and it turns on by itself. Um, so, of course, you've got here. Um, play, if you were used to PlayStation, you're going to know what this is. It's the analog stick here. I don't like the analog stick. I've never liked the PSP's analog stick. Cannot wait for the NGP, which is going to have a way better analog stick. Uh, D pad, really good D pad, actually, on this. It's probably one of the best. Um, uh, you've also got, um, you can see there, left, right, left, right, um, up, uh, down, up, usual. Uh, you've got B, B I'm, I'm thinking of Xbox, uh, circle, triangle, square, and X. Um, great, of course, they work for you, other buttons. Um, it's a trone. You hear that, that click, it's very, very good, it works. Um, very cool, and you've got your lanyard <laughs> hole here. Anyway, let's go up to the main screen uh, and look at this. So you've got a few options here. Uh, you've got your uh, system, you've got your settings, system update, uh, I've just updated it. USB connection, video settings, photo settings, system settings, theme settings, date and time settings, power safe settings, Bluetooth device settings, connected display settings, sound settings, security settings, <sighs> for RSS. Uh, RSS channel settings, so you can set up an RSS with this, like a podcast or something like that. And network, which allows you to do Wi Fi, um, and I think uh, there's also like Bluetooth, which is back up here. And you can connect a PS3 controller to it. Um, thing is, there is quite it's quite difficult to actually do that um, because the you have to, you have to have a PS3. So you have to connect the PSP via USB cable to the PS3 and connect the, the controller by USB to the PS3 and then sync them together it's a real hard, it's a real strenuous process and I, I don't really, I don't, know, I don't understand why you couldn't just search for Bluetooth on here and it would find the controller that, so you have to have a PS3 to do it which is kind of annoying because I didn't thankfully my, my friend Aaron let me borrow his PS3 to do it um, so I, ha I have a PS3 controller upstairs which actually will allow me to um, to do um, like it will allow me to play games with the, with the, well, with analog sticks, um, but I have a few gripes with that myself um, because if you're in a first-person shooter, uh, you got to use these buttons as the other analog stick. That's your moving one, and that's your aiming, which is a pain in the ass, really, is on first-person shooters. Um, and you, the thing is, you would thought that if you use a PS3 controller, the other analog stick would become the camera. No, um, the these buttons on the controller become the camera. So they, re they really should have thought about that and actually changed some stuff. Uh, you've got digital comics. I don't think I actually have digital comics. Um, any, I, don't think, I don't think it's installed. Um, system settings, camera. Um, camera, of course, I haven't got a camera, but you can get one um, for it. And we've got photos uh, in here. Let's see if there's actually any photos. Um, oh, yeah, there you go. There's a picture of a Chevrolet Caprice. That's a car I'm getting when I'm older. Oh yes, moving to America and I'm buying that car. It's awesome. Um, <laughs> I got some other stuff in here. Uh, random photos um, and Naruto. And you got like a thing here where you press that and you can you hold down square and you use the analog stick to basically zoom in or out. 
as you can see there, um, the screen quality is great. Uh, there's no issues with the screen quality at all on this device. Uh, really, really cool. Um, you've got music, uh, speakers. Actually, there are, is no music on this on this one. I forgot to put some music on here before doing the review. Um, so you'll be able to hear the speakers when I play a game in a minute. Uh, videos. Um, don't know if there's any videos on here either. Um, what's that? Episode 95. Um, all right, here's here's the demo. Um, you can close it, and you can also lock it. Um, let's turn it up. With it, the whole world can be in your hands. Make sure you're in a Wi-Fi area, and simply connect to PlayStation Network for free, and go. Using the PlayStation Store, you can browse hundreds of titles. So as you can see there, it looks it looks great. Uh, the video looks cool on it. Um, so as you can hear, it, it's a kind of clicky noise when you go up and down. Um, that's that's due to the speakers. Let's turn it back down to about halfway. And when you close it normally, um, this screen will appear. Basically, it's a little clock for you to look at. So it's an interesting to look at. Uh, I think you can switch between them. I may be wrong. No, you can't. Um, so we also got um, game sharing uh, here. Uh, you got what's that? Uh, I can't even see that myself. Save data utility, resume game. One of the core features about this device is you can actually save games. Um, you can you can press the home button and you will ha you can actually pause the game while in it, uh, and then you can do you can go play on another game and it will keep that same slot. All right, so let's go on here. This is Star Wars Battlefront 2. Really, really good game. I like it a lot. Um, it's probably one of the best on the PSP. Uh, just try and look here. See if it's gonna. Focus on it. I was, I was in the middle of a battle. Um, but there you go. That, that looks great. The graphics are good on the PSP. Uh, but if you can see here, I press this button here, and you get two options: quick game or pause. So let's go back up to pause again. And then a little loading bar comes across here, and that's it. Done. And it will go back to the main home, and you can go do whatever you want to do after that. Um, I can't show you the internet browser um, because I haven't got Wi-Fi connection at the moment to this device anyway. Um, but the thing is, the Wi-Fi browser it, it's okay. Um, it's all right. It's slow. Doesn't really do much. I wouldn't. I wouldn't personally use it as a default web browser. It's not very good at all for that. Um, I'll show you another game in a minute. RSS channel. Uh, what's on that? Got no internet. So our oh, video game outsiders and Vault reviews. My own radio show and one of my other favorite radio shows. Uh, that's pretty cool. Internet radio is on here. Uh, remote play, Skype. Um, you got a little. I don't know if I showed you that before, but you got a little speaker, a little microphone right there. Um, it's not focusing very well on it, but there it is. Little microphone right there. Um, so that's that. And you also got PlayStation Network. Um, so PlayStation Store is right there. So you can go to that. I can't right now because of the whole PlayStation Store being down. Um, so I can't show you that. Um, damn you, Sony! Um, but I can show you a game here. Let's quickly um, load up a game. Um, I've got Theme Hostel on here. Um, great game. Uh, Toy Story 2, probably one of my favourite PS PS1 games. Great game. Um, really, really good actually. Uh, Motorstorm Arctic Edge. Um, that's all right. It's okay. Uh, it's very, very close to the PS3 games, which is awesome. Uh, you've got Gran Turismo for the PSP. Great looking game. Um, I'll see that in a minute. Pursuit Force, Extreme Justice, that's the second one, I think. Um, Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories, a brilliant game. Uh, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, also amazing. Uh, Wipeout, I never really got the Wipeout series, but this game really, really, actually, I was really, in, I really enjoyed it when I was playing it a couple of nights ago. I don't know, I just never really got into it, um, but until now. Star Wars Force Unleashed, um, it's okay, it's alright. It's not as good as the console one. It's very, very similar to the PS2 and Wii version. Uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2, brilliant game. Uh, Pursuit Force, that's the original. I love the original over the new one, and uh, myself. Um, Sega Mega Drive Collection, you have to have that. <laughs> Come on, Sega Genesis Collection. Or oh, I think I think in America it's, America it's called Sonic's um, like Collection or something, but same thing. Um, and Crash Team Racing, another brilliant PS1 classic. 
Uh, so I can go on Gran Turismo a second to show you the graphics in this game. Um, really, really blew me away by just how good this game actually looks. Um, not going to be very good, obviously, but um, I'm going to try and, try and show you. Um, yeah, 2009. I got this for free. When I bought the PSP Go, I uh, got like 10 games uh, with the console uh, for free. and I only paid like 200 for it, um, but I got 10 games, which probably would have racked up another 100 or so um, of, of my money, out of our money anyway. Um, probably about $160, $180 of worth of game. So all the games that you saw there, or most of the games you saw there, all the PSP games you saw there, were free. Um, which is insane. Um, I need the intro there. Let's go. Keep going through. Um, if I turn the screen brightness down, I think that's what's happened. No, it's full brightness. Um, it's slightly when you plug it into a uh, a a wall or plug it into a power um, when you know plug it in to charge up, the screen gets brighter. Um, so yeah, single player. You've got car dealer here. Every day, uh, more cars appear. You've got money up here. Uh, dealership. Um, let's just show you quickly the graphics. Uh, go on, Sol. I've got some old cars in here. I may do a review on this at some point uh, completely. Uh, Mitsubishi Eclipse. I've uh, got some old cars. Let's go for the Triumph Spitfire. I like that car. It's old, but it's cool. Um, and let's see that. Right. Now, this game, really, for a PSP, it looks like it's off a PS2 or late PS2 game. That's how good it looks. Um, there you go, start the race. Uh, I know Chris Spratt, if you're watching this, I think he'd really enjoy this game actually. Um, but he lost his PSP. Ha ha ha! If he's watching. Ha <laughs> ha! Um, got different views here, select, change your view. Uh, I mean, look at that. That is great. Let's round this guy. Oh, look, what is that? Volkswagen Beetle. Epic! Um, I can see 60 miles an hour. This goes pretty good. I'm going to crash on the corner though. I know I am. I'm not going to have a brake and turn at the same time. My fingers cannot stretch that far. Um, well, uh, no. What the hell? No, no. Oh no, I'm going off completely. Alright, but as you can see there, I mean, the game looks great. Uh, it really does. One of the best looking portable games I've ever seen, I think, actually. I'm going to come out and say it right now. This, this looks brilliant. Uh, in person, maybe it's not showing it completely on the video, but in person, it looks like you have a PlayStation 2 in your hand, or, or an early Xbox game, Xbox 360 game. Um, really, really awesome. Uh, yeah, that, that, so that is Gran Turismo. Uh, let's quit that. Uh, let's come out of that. Anyway, my review uh, of the PSP Go, um, I don't know. It's a very, very kind of thing. I hated the PSP Go when it first came out because they didn't offer any new games to it. They didn't offer you any games. They just said, oh, I have this PSP Go without a UMD drive and live with it, basically. And I didn't like that because, as you know, it's probably no, it's, there's no UMD drive. Let's turn this thing off and um, lock it down. Um, there is no UMD drive on the back, um, so you can't play your PSP original games or PSP 2000, 3000 games on here. Um, but if you're if you like digitally downloading games and if you have a collection of games you've bought off the PSN store, like PS1 games, PSP games, this console's for you. It comes with 16 gigabytes built in, and you can add a memory card. Uh, where's the memory card slot? Um, you can add an SD uh, M2, uh, which is right. Focus. <laughs> it's not going to focus on it, but right there is a little tiny slot for your M2 card. Um, so you can add up to, I think it's 32 gigabytes to this. Um, really, really cool. Um, but if you want, if you, if you have a lot of UMD collection, if you have a UMD, if you have a lot of UMDs, I will go for the PSP 3000. Um, there's not a lot of difference in terms of um, thing. This is great though for pocket size, and it is pocket size. And I really, I carry this around a lot with me because it's, it's just good to pop it out and go, hey, I want to go on Gran Turismo or something like that. And, uh, that feels really smooth as well when you're opening it and all that. Um, I, really, I, it, it's up. To, it's up to what you prefer. I think if you if you have a lot of UMDs, as I said, get the PSP 3000. Um, but if you have a lot of collection of uh, PSN store games, this is for you. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. I'm going to give this console 
oh, I, I don't know, a 7 out of 10, I think. Um, just because it depends on who you are, really. But for me, um, I like it. Um, I like it a lot. So, um, and you've also got a headphone jack down here and charging dock. So, but it comes with a propri proprietary um, dock for you. Um, so it's not, you can't use a PSP, you can't use a mini USB um, like you could with a PSP 3000. Um, but yeah, that's my review. Thanks for watching. Comment down below on what you think and I'll go and go rate and subscribe and all that. Thanks for watching and that's me out.